Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. So in this video, we're going to be doing an Australian stock. Why? Because we know that Sharesies is in the process of introducing ASX stocks to its platform. And although ASB already provides ASX stocks, them being available on Sharesies puts it in the hands of a lot more retail investors. So let us know what you think and if you would like to see more Australian stocks in the future. But for now, let's get right into it. So in this video, we're going to be talking about Appen. I really hope I'm saying that right. Now, Appen is part of the WAX stocks. Similar to the FANG stocks in the US, which are the tech giants, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google, Appen is a part of WAX, WiseTech, Afterpay, Appen, Altium, and Xero. Appen has been around for 25 years, but only had its IPO in 2015. And since then, it has become one of the best performing stocks on the ASX, with a compounded annual growth rate of 49% since its IPO in 2015. Their share price has gone up about 7,000%. Not to mention, Appen has customers like Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Microsoft. So as you can imagine, this is one stock that investors have really gotten behind. But the thing about stocks with massive growth rates is that if the company cannot match the investor expectations, no matter if the company is still doing well, the stock price can quickly start to take a dive, which is exactly what happened to Appen in recent times. And the stock is taking about a 60% drop since peaking last year in August. So let's begin with what Appen actually does and why have investors picked this company so high. So in a nutshell, Appen collects, classifies, translates, reviews, and labels large volumes of images, text, speech, audio, video, and other data used to build and train AI systems. The data is annotated by a global crowd of over 1 million skilled contractors who speak 235 languages and work in over 170 countries. They also have the industry's most advanced AI-assisted annotation platform. Easiest way to think of this is that an AI model needs to be taught, and what you use to teach it is data. It's a garbage in garbage out kind of situation. If you feed the model bad data, you'll get poor results. Feed it clean data and you'll get quality results. Now, Appen helps you to gather and label data based on your specific business needs, and then you can feed it into your AI model. The gathering and labeling process of the data can be very time consuming and expensive, which is why outsourcing to a company like Appen can have its benefits, where you just buy a ready-made off-the-shelf data set. Alternatively, you can upload your data to their platform and use their features to annotate, cleanse, etc. Now, the reason behind behind Appen's growth is due to how the world is changing. You may have heard the saying AI is taking over the world or something similar. And yeah, that's kind of true if you look at the market size for AI. The global artificial intelligence market size was valued at USD 39.9 billion in 2019 and is expected to grow at a compounded annual growth rate of 42.2% from 2020 to 2027. The use for AI is everywhere and even during a pandemic, AI played a key part. Appen mentions in their 2020 annual report that in 2020, health organizations around the world needed to deliver urgent COVID-19 related health and safety guidelines to diverse populations in their native languages. To do that, they needed access to accurate, high quality translations of COVID-19 related terminology. To make this information globally accessible and equitable, Appen joined with other large data companies like Amazon, Facebook, Google, and Microsoft to work with translators without borders on sourcing and annotating relevant data for 38 languages. As a result of this initiative, translated data sets of 70,000 key COVID-19 terms and phrases are being made publicly accessible for translation professionals and for training state-of-the-art machine translation models. Given the importance of Appen's ability to capture quality data for AI, why has the stock been falling in recent times? So, if you look at this, you can see here that on 26th of August, Appen has hit its peak price of $43.50. Then they dropped 20% in just two days due to the announcement of their first half of FY2020 results. So, in the first half, they reported a 25% revenue increase from $245 million to $306 million. Now, the 25% increase sounds good, but if you actually compare it to the second half of 2019 instead of first half of 2019, their revenue only had a single digit growth of 6%, which is a little bit disappointing for a high growth stock. On top of that, they said the global slowdown in online advertising spend brought by the pandemic will have a small impact on Apen's ad-related revenue in the second half, which implied the second half also may not see a great growth. Then on the 10th of December, they had another great fall of 12% in a single day following their trading update. In the announcement, the company referenced the fact that on 15th of April 2020, 
they said that the COVID-19 pandemic may dampen 2020 performance through a slowdown in digital ad spending, a reduction in IT slash digital spending, a reduction or cancellation of services from Apple's smallest customers, interruptions to global hardware supply chain, and suspension of face-to-face -face projects such as audio data collection. Then they went on to saying, while fourth quarter improved on the third quarter, the usual ramp up we traditionally see at this time of the year is not occurring which meant that growth again would not likely to be high. Finally, the recent 34% drop over the past month. For this one, if you look at the chart, you can see Apple started dropping from 16th of February, which is actually a whole week before their full year results were officially announced. So what caused this drop to happen before the results were even announced? Well, it was Macquarie's downgrade of Apple from outperform to underperform. Macquarie thinks that the FI20 results is now going to be a non-event because of increasing competition and this will cause Apple to lose market share. But the broker doesn't think this competition is a short-term problem and could continue for the rest of 2021. Furthermore, they said, increased competition has been partially cushioned by greater demand, but supply increase has outstripped demand. Pricing is not yet a lever to differentiate between outsourced solutions, but as competition intensifies in 2021, we could see downside risk to street revenue forecast as this come into play. So here, Macquarie is really stressing out the fact that now their competitions are starting to catch up. Although they still see more growth happening for Apple as they are in a rapidly growing sector, they are now predicting they won't go back to like the crazy growth rate they had prior to pandemic. Moving on to the risks of Appen. No doubt, Appen was one of the first movers and had carved out its own niche, which saw early investors of the company reaping great benefits. And while Appen still might be ahead of the game currently, the question becomes, can it maintain this growth? Because as we know, past performance does not indicate future performance. Let's take a look at it this way. For a company to grow with consistency, it needs to build recurring revenue. But in Appen's case, it still generates most of its revenue from purchase orders rather than recurring subscription platform fees and and these can be unpredictable and lumpy. And although Appen has signed 136 customers in 2020, these customers seem to be small in nature and do not contribute a huge amount to Appen's revenue. As this source mentions, around 80% of Appen's revenue is generated by just five customers, which include Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Microsoft. Not to mention the increased level of competition as the AI market grows. So to summarize, most of Appen's revenue is not reoccurring and is purely based on the number of projects they sign. They rely on five customers and with an increased level of competition in the market, the market share may reduce in the future. So, our final take on Appen. Although, yeah, it is a great company if you are one of the early investors while the AI market was starting to grow. But now, based on the factors including recurring versus non-recurring revenue split, very heavy reliance on handful of customers, and the level of competition increasing day by day, there are some challenges ahead to be faced. So, this is where Appen's management really has to step up to build a big wide moat for them to continue the growth like they had before. Appen currently is one of the market leaders in the industry and is likely to keep growing simply due to the nature of AI industry rapidly getting bigger. But for us now, we cannot see a wide enough mode in any of the brand, secret, toll bridge, switching, and price modes that we can confidently say will protect them from future competition. So going forward, there still may be a bit of turbulence in the stock. So that was our thoughts on Appen. Let us know your thoughts and the modes for this company that we could not identify. But as always, make sure to smash that like button if you found this useful. We'll see you next time.